What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. Uh, and before we get into this video, I would like to just apologize uh, for not uploading recently. I'm not normally one to make excuses, but I have just been very busy with a bunch of stuff uh, lately. We could probably talk about it another time. But now, into this video, um, I will be doing Chapter 4, Problem 8 in the Fundamentals of Physics Textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 4 is all about motion in two and three dimensions, or kinematics. And uh, in this particular problem, we're given like a we're given a plane, and we're told um, where it flies, um, how far there's two trips, how far each one is. Um, and for the first part, we are asked to find the magnitude and direction of the plane's displacement. So, for the magnitude, the so the displacement, we're given this, the displacement of trip 1, I'll call it trip 1, from point 1 to point 2, um, is 483 kilometers, and then distance of trip 2, or displacement of trip 2, is negative 9 hundred and sixty six kilometers. And so for magnitude we know that that is regardless of the sign. So we're gonna do total displacement is equal to the square root of four eighty three squared plus negative nine sixty six squared. And that sign doesn't matter because this whole thing is squared so it's gonna be positive no matter what. And as we know, this is the distance formula, or the magnitude formula, either or. And when you put that into your calculator, you should get 1.08 times 10 to the third kilometers. Now for part B, we are asked to find the direction. And so our direction formula is angle equals the inverse tangent of... Um, distance or trip two over trip one. And so when you put that in your calculator, so this will be inverse tangent of negative nine six six over four eighty three. And when you put that in your calculator you should get negative sixty three point four degrees. And that's from the horizontal, so that translates to sixty three point four degrees south of east, or 26.6 degrees east of south. Either or would be acceptable. Um, now for part C. In part C, we are asked to find the magnitude of the average velocity of um, everything. So. We know that average velocity, we just know that velocity is equal to distance over time. So we need to find the average velocity of each piece. Um, and so if we do that, we get the distance of trip one over the total time. Um, and that is 483 over, and it's going to be per, by hour, which we know there's 2.25 hours. We are given that in the problem. So that's going to be 215 kilometers per hour. And if we do the same thing for uh, displacement number two, we get... Um, negative 966 over 2.25 which that equals negative 429 kilometers per hour and this is again magnitude so we need to use our distance formula in this case it's not really distance but it's our magnitude formula or you could say that so um, the average is going to be the square root of 215 squared plus negative 429 squared. And when you do that, 
uh, put that in your calculator, you should get 480 kilometers per hour. Okay, now for part D, we are asked to find the direction of this velocity. And up here in part B, we found that the plane is moving um, in these directions right here. And the velocity of an object is, um, in this case, is the velocity is in the same direction of the plane's motion. So, in this case, the answer would be the same as part B, which is 63.4 degrees south of east, or 26.6 degrees east of south. Again, either answer would be acceptable. Now, lastly, for part E, we are asked to find its average speed. And again, we know that speed is equal to distance over time. And since speed is since speed is um, separate from direction, like direction is not relevant, we can just say total distance over total time. So 483 plus 966 kilometers over 2.25 hours gives us 64, sorry, 644 kilometers per hour. So that is all five parts of problem eight in chapter four. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe uh, and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. We're almost at that 50 subscriber mark. I am very thankful for all your support. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.